Today we're looking at LG's flagship smartphone, the all-new LG G4. The unit we're testing today is a pre-release version of the device that LG sent us to review. The phone is available in four different back finishes, two lovely leather options, a clean ceramic finish, and the metallic back. Our review unit has the gray metallic finish with a diamond pattern on the back. In the US, the phone will be available with all major carriers, AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, T-Mobile, and US cellular. So let's start with the screen on the phone. It's an absolutely amazing 5.5 inch display with a higher pixel density than the iPhone 6 Plus, but slightly lower pixel density than the new Samsung Galaxy S6. The colors are well reproduced and well saturated and the bezel around the screen is very slim. The screen is also bright enough to use outdoors and the pixel density keeps everything nice and sharp. And this makes playing back videos an extremely enjoyable experience experience, especially if you're coming from a phone with a much smaller screen like the iPhone 5S. The speaker quality is also really good, as you can hear in this clip. Telling questions for all of our interns, so I want you to like, this is the one to really think about, okay? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? When I'm 80. And I love myself! The world is a Remember a few weeks ago we talked about the senior intern program? Seniors in high school or college? No, 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 no. Seniors in life. Hold on. What? That's our founder and CEO, Jules Austin. Any tips before I go in? Blink. Blink. She hates when people don't blink, it weirds her out. Hi, Jules. I'm Ben, your new intern. The position of the speaker though makes it very easy to accidentally cover it when holding the phone. The phone is pretty comfy to hold and use despite its large size. However, despite having large hands, single-handed operation is still a little awkward. Now this is an issue with all larger phones and not just the G4. The power button and volume rocker buttons are on the back of the phone right under the rear facing camera. This is a pretty creative location but will take a little bit of getting used to in the beginning. The G4 is one of a now rare breed of phones with a removable back cover. Removing this cover reveals the replaceable battery, which is great for folks who travel and need a quick battery swap to keep their phones going. The inside also houses a micro SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot that supports SD cards up to two terabytes in size. This really helps with photo and video storage, both of which this phone is destined to shoot. The phone comes with 32 gigabytes of built-in storage, which is probably going to be enough for most people. The Qualcomm Snapdragon 808 processor with 3 gigabytes of RAM ensures the phone almost never lags or hangs, even with several apps running simultaneously in the background. The user experience is very smooth. Unsurprisingly, the web browsing experience is also flawless. Pages load up fast and scrolling is pretty smooth. Now, LG has been highlighting the phone's camera capabilities as one of its major selling points. The rear-facing camera takes stills up to 16 megapixels in size and has a sensor the size of what a lot of higher-end consumer-grade camcorders have. The camera has three major user interfaces, simple, auto, and manual. In simple mode, it gets rid of all the controls and lets you touch anywhere on the screen to take a picture. The auto mode gives you a few more options like setting the focus points and turning on and turning off the flash. And manual mode gives you full access to all major camera adjustments, white balance, ISO, shutter speed, and exposure compensation. It even gives you the option of shooting raw images and displays a histogram on screen. There are also three aspect ratios to take pictures, 4x3, 16x9, or square. Now all these specs and features initially appear to translate into really good image quality. The images look really sharp and the pictures look great overall. However, on closer inspection, things aren't exactly as good as they seemed. LG's image processing software seems to artificially bump up saturation on all the things that are in focus. This issue is so bad that the subjects that are in focus appear to have an almost unnatural phosphorescent glow to them, as you can see in these pictures. This seems to be largely a software issue and LG seriously ought to consider working on this. The lens's aperture is set permanently to f1.8 and as expected, the camera performs pretty well in low light. The camera can also shoot UHD video, commonly referred to as 4K. Now this isn't cinema 4K, but is 3840 by 21. 160 in size. The quality is really good, the colors are very well reproduced, and the image stabilization works pretty well. The only issue we noticed was that the continuous autofocus in video seems to hunt quite a bit when moving from point to point, something LG might also consider fixing with a software update. The front-facing camera takes really good selfies, 
but more importantly, it's a great first vlogging or YouTube camera as it takes full HD video. This is a great first camera for people starting out on YouTube or people who use Skype a lot. If you end up buying this phone, you'll probably not have to invest in your first YouTube camera or a Skype webcam. Now the LG G4 doesn't come with a whole lot of bloatware, but one of the apps that caught our attention was the Quick Remote app. The Quick Remote app uses the IR sensor on the phone to control almost any appliance with a remote control. You can control TVs, set-top boxes, audio devices, projectors, and even air conditioners. It contains presets for almost every brand under the sun, and setup is really easy. A very nifty little feature. So our overall thoughts about the LG LG G4, LG has poured its heart and soul into this phone. It's crammed the phone with a ton of cool features that make it a pretty competitive choice. There are some minor issues with the phone's camera quality, all of which can be resolved through software fixes. And the usual bugs with Android are also visible and usually have a tendency to get worse as apps are updated more frequently than the OS itself. This phone is a great upgrade for folks coming from an Android phone and looking to stick to Android. If you're coming from an older iPhone, you might want to skip the LG G4 and get the iPhone 6 Plus instead. And for those comparing this to the Samsung Galaxy S6, it's really a tough call. They're both very good phones. Hope this video was useful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe for more reviews. Thanks for watching.